<laughs> no, I mean, we've got the same thing for Arsenal and Manchester City and their remaining fishes. City obviously have the four to play. And that game in hand is that Tottenham one, which mm. will be played midweek before those final games on the Sunday. Well, the, the Fulham away and the, and the Tottenham away in three or four days, whatever it is, is, is Man City's biggest hurdle, I think, in that. I think Arsenal won all their remaining games. I really do. So, I just think City, because they've been there before, they've been over the course of this, this is going to be the four times Premier League, never been done before. They won the Premier League four times on the bounce. And we talk about muscle memory, muscle memory in the brain. When it's pressure's on, when they have to get the job done, even today, City weren't brilliant today, but they got the job done on a sticky pitch, a dry pitch, whatever you want to call it. They got the job done, roll on the next game, and now it's in their hands. I think that was the key a couple of weeks ago when, when both Liverpool and Arsenal lost. Then City was at home rubbing their hands going, now it's in our hands, now we can win the league again. And I think I think they have enough to do. Yeah, I, I, I would say, looking at those fixtures, that both teams win all of their games uh, and Manchester City inevitably win the title. But both teams are looking so strong at the minute. But we did say this, you know, a few weeks ago, and then and then people slipped up. But I think both of them win all the remaining games. Uh, right, uh, just one point separated Bournemouth and Brighton ahead of their mm -hmm. meeting. John Roder, watch this one. Mm -hmm.